Hello and welcome to how I play my level 80 wizard. So uh, let's jump right into this. So if you haven't watched the previous level 75 video, this is a carry on from level 75. But if you have not followed the ones before 75, doesn't matter because <laughs> everything changed in 75. And now uh, we have a, like a rotation. We have some stuff. I've optimized some things. I've tried a few things out while leveling and... Uh, I, I, li I like this. I like this a lot. So uh, let's kind of talk about spells. Talk about my multi-bind and how I have uh, some of the bars, bars set up and some things I changed. And then we'll talk about uh, what gear you should have. Now, level 80 is uh, Secrets of Fadar uh, if you're on a TLP and beyond if you're on live. So this should be relative for any level 80 wizard. Uh, the gear varies though so just depends on what expansion is available so uh my first uh four spells are my nukes these are the damage dealing spells i use and uh whatnot so we have claw of selig which is a cold nuke uh 1900 damage uh 1.4 second cast time with my current haste Inzin's fire which is a 5390 damage nuke for two seconds and a tangle waves or tangle weaves energy <laughs> this is our uh uh magic nuke it's a 1.7 second cast time with 400 and 4576 damage and it will give us a bonus to the next spell we cast now that's something to keep in mind and then i have chaos configuration which is a uh, a 0.7 second cast time with 1300 to 2600 damage i like this spell because it's a really fast cast and the way i'm leveling right now is things are dying fast we're going to look at some logs from me leveling from uh, 75 to 80 and uh, some of the uh, stuff there so we can kind of see the differences uh on that and uh you know what our dps is in a my kind of actual situation so uh, but these are the the nukes I use. Now we have a utility spell next, uh, concussive burst, which uh, is our concussion spell. And then after it lands, it gives a, a bonus to either fire, ice, or magic. So that's something we want to have going at all times. Um, now th this spell here is pretty fun, but it's not practical in a multi bind. Now, if I go behind this mob right here and I click, uh, click it, right? Now, you notice it doesn't activate every time. I don't know why. It takes like three tries, so it's that's annoying on its own. Uh, but it summons a sword that will attack the mob until it dies. Now, if it attacks from the front, it will die instantly. Um, but uh, from behind, it doesn't. And it, it's not, it's not like hitting for a lot, right? It's hitting for hundreds, so it's, it's not really that useful. Um, but it does count as another pet. It does backstab. Uh, so if you have mages, it could be useful. I don't use it in my multi bind because it is an instant recast. And uh, it would just mess everything up. Uh, now I have Icicle Storm next. Now this is our level 80 targeted AoE spell. And I tried using some targeted AoEs and the point blank AoEs in my leveling. Uh, well, they do, you know, they do do damage, but uh, if I'm not paying extreme attention to what aggro I have on my bar, uh, on my Shadow Knight, I will pull aggro on random mobs and die. And, you know, that is, that's on me because of the way I pull. I, like, pretty much just, like, I've been doing uh, the lower levels of the House of Thule to try and level this guy up and get him some uh, level 80 gear. And I pretty much pull like this. I just like run and I just run through all the mobs on my Shadow Knight going like this, just grabbing everything I possibly can. And then I just stand somewhere and kill them. Now, I'm not putting any damage or anything on any of the other mobs. Now, if I do anything with any of my other characters, they're going to pull aggro. Like my bard pulls aggro just existing. Uh, so... Like, uh, if I'm not paying close attention, I'm not doing my AoE taunts, 
it's problematic. So I, I don't use them, but I have them memorized just in case I do want to do something with them. Now they do, you know, about the same amount of damage, what, 1600, 1200 damage. The point blank AOE one will hit all the mobs, right? So if we go like right here, I should hit like everything right here. Yeah, you see everybody got hit, even these things. So it's pretty nice. So but I, I just can't practically use it at this point in time. Evacuate. Uh, so I actually ran into a, a situation where uh, I think I was in the library doing the uh, named mobs there, trying to work on Hunter while I'm leveling this guy and I got a lot of mobs and for some some reason they absolutely trunked down my um my shadow knight so I was like I was gonna evac but I'd already used it <laughs> and the evac is uh was already down uh so I was like oh crap I didn't have it up so I put it on my bar for now uh let's see how that goes long term now, I think the previous rank of this was a longer time, I think. And then at level 80, it went down to 14 minutes, which might be practical in the, uh, you know, we don't, won't evacuate more than that, but I don't know. I truly don't know how that's going to go, but I like to have it up now, uh, just in case. And I do have like 12 spell slots, so I'm like, I, I don't, I don't need any more spell slots for anything right now that I can think of. Uh, next up, I have... Uh, Lame of Cri the Crystal Wing, which is a rune spell, but it also increases my mana regeneration. Uh, seems to be like the same kind of spell line that the Necromancer gets. It's like a rune, but it also uh, gives you mana regen. I don't even see it. <laughs> this is not stacked with something I got. Ah, there it is right there. So it's a three hour duration. As long as I don't get hit, I don't have to recast it. So it's just there. Uh, so I don't have to memorize it. Now I'll probably, if I if I have to lose the spell slot for something else, I'll definitely put, make a macro for it. But uh, right now I don't need it. Uh, then we have Tranquil Harvest, which is our current level harvest spell. And I've removed all the harvest out of my uh, multibind. Uh, I know in previous videos they were in there. I now have them in their own little button for harvesting so that they'll do that when I'm, you know, having downtime. Uh, the, the 12 second, you know, out of combat, you know, during a, a fight is just wasn't worth it. Mobs are not living long enough for that right for me right now. So later on, maybe that'll be better. And at the end, I have a, this is like my throwaway slot. Anything goes here. I just keep knowledge portal there so I can go buy spells because <laughs> I'm lazy when it comes to that. So. Those are the spells I pretty much use all the time. Um, these are pretty much upgrades from the level 75 spells, so if that makes any sense there. Uh, so let me see here, what did I miss? Uh, we got an upgrade to Ethereal's Unity, so that's, you want to make sure you have that at all times. Uh, we got an upgrade to our Familiar at 77, so it's a little bit stronger now. You want to make sure you recast it. Now, I don't know if you need to. I don't know if you don't. Like, some of these you do, some of them you don't. So you just make sure you got, like, improve familiar 8, improve familiar 8, right? You want to make sure you have the right one there. Uh, if you have another familiar, make sure you have both buffs up. Otherwise, you're, you know, leaving, leaving stats on the table there. So make sure you have those going. Now... Uh, my multi-bind is pretty much the exact same as it was. I do concussive burst first as my first thing because it does increase damage of a random spell. You can see there I get a one minute cold damage increase, right? So that's really nice. And then it's followed up by Tangle Weave, which gives me uh, Tangle Weave power, which the next spell does more damage and so on and so on, right? And it's just... Here, I'm just spamming five right now. That's all I'm doing. You can see how it kind of works. Spell damage, probably more useful. Uh, you can see here, you know, 21,000, 9,000. We crit a lot. I, I feel I feel like it's, it's really nice, the amount of crits we have. I would, you know, a little bit more would probably be real good, but it can only do so much, right? And uh, yeah, so that kind of just works out right there. So it's a pretty nice rotation. I removed Ward of Destruction. I put that in my burn ability here. 
uh it was killing me <laughs> i would so like you know what like i said how i pull with my shadow knight right like so that ward lasts for quite a while right it's 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 lingers and it will pull mobs that are you know inside the range uh, so if i'm out pulling and it pulls in some mobs well who guess who dies right so uh it's one of those things and then the only two AAs we have in the multibind right now are Force of Will, which is a uh, uh, instant cast damage spell, and Call of uh, Uzul's. Uh, this is our uh, an, a swarm pet that just does Lure of Flame, another seven thousand or seven hundred damage proc on that. I'm surprised that hasn't been upgraded. <laughs> It's been Lure of Flame for quite a while, so maybe that get that'll get updated uh, at some point, right? Yeah, still the same thing at uh, 83. So I don't know, but uh, you know that's the spells. That's my multi bind. Now things I have. What did I change here? Uh, I did change here. Let's get rid of this guy. I changed that. I put that in the 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 uh, the burn button. I, made this button uh, for getting all my harvests done and that's about it <laughs> that's about it so let's talk about damage uh so this is this is the mob right here watcher yatal is the one i deemed level 80 on now you can kind of see here the uh how my group does damage right so i got you know thirty-one thousand dps on my shadow knight twenty-two thousand on my beast lord but that sh she's not in melee uh either was the bard at thirteen thousand. so i'm doing ten thousand dps at level 79 80 and the rest of the group is doing you know about double that so that's kind of crazy they're 10 levels higher than me at this point still so that i don't feel like that is terrible i feel like that, <laughs> i feel like this char character is gonna be my highest dps character and beat out the mage uh you can see the mage didn't even do much but look how long the fight was it was a six second fight six seconds i killed the name a tier one named right with a level 90 <laughs> group uh the same here with this one right you can see it's got the same kind of uh, distribution of damage. Uh, the bard goes up a little bit. Uh, she might have been in melee range. Like if we look here, you know, she summoned a pet at that time. So, uh, so you can see kind of see like the damage I got going on with uh, you know some of this. Let me let me move my shadow knight down there so I can show you on the combat dummy with the little of lady spells and see what you know how that kind of brings out so I'm gonna stand him like right here so he's close enough I have all my parsing based on him so all right uh let's stand behind it just so if we we get a thing here we'll do it so all I'm hitting is five the multi-bind is bound for four and five uh, if you're not sure how multi-bind works I believe I have a video just on multi-bind and whatnot so that's kind of how that's all set up so do this for uh i think 25 percent of my mana so like right about there you can kind of see right here right i'm not really losing much mana here i'm like regenerating it back uh i don't have paragon i don't have any of that stuff on me right now so it's kind of crazy uh while we're while we're hitting this button here gear wise i'm still wearing paragon gear and i'm moving into house of thule tier uh one like gear that I've I've picked up, right? Uh, like this ring is from tier one, uh, and that's what you can wear at level eighty. Now, you can wear Paragon all the way to eighty-five if you want. You're not gonna have you know too much issues there. Now, the only thing you're gonna really be sad about is the focus items, like uh, knowledge of the past and stuff like that. Uh, those don't those aren't on the Paragon armor, so you're gonna want that kind of stuff. And, you know, to make sure you have all that. So, uh, like the other alternative would be if you didn't go for House of Thule tier, tier one gear, you could go for um, the Broken Mirror gear. But I feel like that gear is too tedious to do for more than one character. 
So if you're playing one character, it should be fine, but if you're playing more, I would just skip it. I keep my Shadow Knight in full TBM gear, but I mean, you have all these item slots, right? Plus you have two augs per item that you have to change every level, every five levels. It's just, it's tedious for me uh, and stuff like that. All right, so we're not losing any mana. <laughs> I'm chain nuking and I'm not losing mana, so we'll just do one more nuke and uh, see where this goes here. Log parser. So that's combat dummy Lena right here. So I did uh, a <laughs> thousand DPS. That's terrible. Uh, you know, over a long fight, I, you know, it's not that great, but uh, it, it, it's weird, right? Like on, let's say the leaper here since it's a uh is a short fight he gets a little bit higher dps but on the longer fight here's another one uh this one's he had thirty thousand dps on this mob because he crit you know really big in that nine second window so it, it's hard to kind of judge some of this stuff in a combat dummy scenario and you can let me go here uh dps breakdown wizard and we go like this. You can kind of see like we get a little, we get like six, seven percent of our damage from the procs from that one AA. But the majority of the damage is still kind of the same as we had in the, I believe, level 75 video where, you know, Tango Weave is doing the most and then it kind of scales down from there. Uh, but, you know, it's, it is what it is. I feel like uh, as we get to. 125, the wizard is going to out damage everybody in my group by a significant amount because he has no requirements for movement, no requirements for anything, uh, doesn't have to have a pet, doesn't have to have it, it's just straight up casting spells. Uh, and we'll try out long duration spell, like long cast time versus short cast time, we'll try all that out, but I'm not going to do it on these in between levels, I just feel like, I feel like it's not worth it. Um, you know, you know, like a raid, you're going to pick the spells that are ab appliable to the raid you're on, right? Like if something's a, you know, let's say it's a fire dragon, you're going to use cold spells. If it's, you know, cold dragon, you're going to use fire spells, right? You know, common sense, things like that, that should, I don't need to say, but in group content, it doesn't matter because everything lands. I mean, I, at level 75, I was landing on level 80, 80 plus mobs, so... It's not a big deal. Uh, like if I hear, what is this guy here? He's a level 85 red mob, right? I can land, I can land just fine. <laughs> like it's no problem at all landing a spell on these guys, right? No resist, right? So maybe a partial resist on that last one, but for the most part, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, but I think uh, I think that's everything for the wizard for level 80. Now at level 85, which is you know what the first heroic characters were, uh, there's a lot more abilities and stuff that kind of starts coming into play, and uh, that'll be kind of interesting to see. So at uh, the next level, level 85, we will uh, we will be ready to uh, do some more. I uh, just uh, got to get leveled up. So when we get there, uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, where we're where we're at damage wise. So I'm going to say we're in between a uh, thousand and two thousand DPS. I think that's really where we are right now. So at 85, let's see where we end up. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please have a fantastic day.